Support your boy and donate a dollar to the Patreon. No way it's branded. Power to the gamer. Ready to eat for everyone. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You guys know who it is. It's your guy, No Way It's Branded, coming at you guys again with another video for today. How are you guys doing, man? You guys doing well? You guys doing great? You guys doing absolutely stupendously fantastic as always, guys. We are back right at it with another video for today. And today, we are going to be reacting to the new Riders Republic Freestyling Season 4 trailer hashtag UB forward let's go bro so one of you guys recently commented on my Saints Row gameplay and you said hey have you seen the new trailer for season four and then I said no where did you see it <laughs> I want to check it out so uh, today is the following day and now we are going to check it out and by the way uh, I just want to say like uh, back in March, I made a Riders Republic gameplay, just kind of talking about speculation of different types of events and stuff like that in Riders Republic, and I made my own thumbnail for that, right? So back in March, my thumbnail had like a little UFO thing, and I see in this thumbnail, I mean, l listen, listen, I'm not saying that Ubisoft took some inspiration from your boy, <laughs> you know, like months later. I'm just saying, could just be coincidence, but I'm like, you know what? Uh, their thumbnail looks a little familiar. It looks, yeah, you know, I'm like, hmm. This is going to be my initial reaction. Hopefully, a lot of you guys haven't seen it already. I mean, it only says 16K for Ubisoft, so, you know, maybe we can initially watch it together. So, you know, let's just go ahead and uh, take a quick look. I'm actually kind of excited about this so one minute 53 seconds hopefully they don't play the music too loud bro because copyright strikes is a bummer i'm a little nervous right now to watch it i don't, I don't know why but i'm actually kind of stoked vans looks like it's going to be uh, a new sponsor but you never know <laughs> the music bro let's go that's what i'm talking about right there ub that's what I want to see, UB. Yup. I want to pop my collar. Yo! They're adding in new assets? <laughs> That's exactly what I want to see, UB. Yo! We ride in. Yo! They put the UFO on the thing! Oh my god! Dude. Hey, yo, look at that turn down, bro. <laughs> look, that looks so clean. Grinding on the pegs, new gear and outfits. That was cool. I like how they did that right there. I see a new pair of vans, it looks like. Oh, cool. Wait, are those all the, yo, they got We The People? Yo, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it after we watch it. But I'm like, yo, they got two different colors of tires on that bike. <laughs> they're, dude, they're adding in new features in that area. Fine, look, dude, I'm like, I'm losing my mind right now. Why is he carrying a snowboard? Is that a snowboard or is that a skateboard? Oh, that's that, that's that new rocket skateboard thing. Yo, play free right now, free weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is here. It has arrived. BMX has arrived to Riders Republic. Yo, so I'm not going to take too long on this. Yo, the ears are already a balloon. Oh, man, there is so much to get to, but I'm going to try to uh, get through this stuff as quickly and efficiently as I can. So uh, basically what is going on is... Ubisoft has semi-released uh, BMX early. So yes, I mean, the sport is currently in the game, I, I believe for the year one pass holders. And also, uh, be it that the sport is here, it's not officially BMX season. So the entirety of the season has not actually arrived yet. And by that, I mean, as you guys know, Usually when a new season drops for 
Writers Republic, you know, we usually get a bunch of new cosmetics and rewards for the seasonal progression. As you guys can see, it still says 20 hours, 42 minutes. So as of today, September 13th, there, there are no new items to unlock. And then just as a reminder, if you do not claim some of this stuff, you will lose it. So claim the stuff, make sure that you collect it if you still want to keep it. And so just as I was saying, when it comes to uh, the season actually being here, it's almost here. It is almost here. And obviously the weekly challenges are not updated either. So my guess is that come tomorrow on Wednesday, September 14th, which is the day that UB usually updates uh, weekly challenges and pretty much everything in the game, even in the even in the store, right? So even as of right now, nothing new in terms of the shop, the store. So if you guys still want to pick up some of these uh, some of these items on sale, I mean, go for it. These things, I think, will still be here until the update tomorrow morning on Wednesday. So I'm suspecting that once tomorrow hits, all of this stuff will be pretty much brand new and they will be more... Uh, well, maybe not exactly BMX stuff, but UB will be adding in um, a bunch of brand new items, items for the BMX season here, right? So be sure to check the store out tomorrow, and I will as well, obviously, once a new season drops. And then also in the shop, getting just some of the boring stuff out of the way. If you do not have the year one pass and you don't have any of this stuff here, you can still buy it individually beside the snow skate toy, right? Coming soon, it says. But if you guys just want to buy BMX, you can do that. But obviously, you have to wait until the date marked at the top to get access to BMX. And something that I find pretty interesting is that it looks like that the sponsor programs are going to be behind a paywall. You know, take that as you may. That's just how Ubisoft, Ubisoft, that's just how Ubisoft is doing it this time around. But I mean, you're going to get six new sponsors, I believe, if you purchase the BMX career. So just wanted to go ahead and say that. So BMX will be available to all, barring purchase, of course, and also... Something else that is pretty crazy. I mean, just a small detail. It looks like Ubisoft um, kind of updated some of the cosmetics. So for those of you guys that have your 7,000 stars pack, right? Um, so, now, so now the gloves glow a little more, as well as the goggles, as well as the uh, glow stick necklaces on your torso. So that is pretty sick. Like, <laughs> it kind of looks just like the trailer for the game now. So that is pretty sick how they did that. You know, just some, just some little small details, am I right? You love to see it. And then as a matter of fact, I was talking about the 7,000 star pack, right? So wow, that just looks a lot better. And then just for the mass race, you know, ultimate, of course, that looks way, way cool now. And just as I was saying, in terms of the 7,000 star, yo, so maybe, some people might be wearing this a little more often now because um, typically uh, certain items do glow during the nighttime in the game. But it looks like UB changed, uh, changed some of the items so that way they will always glow. I love it. I mean, the goggles look super, super sick. I'm not sure what else exactly they may be updated. Maybe this one as well. But for sure, for the 7,000 star pack, wow, this just looks amazing here, right? But anyway, so uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys just want to see some gameplay, of course. So I'm just going to ride around for a little bit here and just talking just a little bit. And yo, <laughs> that is crazy. Um, so for the last update for summer break, um, you guys probably remember that... Upon starting the update, right, I was mentioning how, for some reason, the game decided to reset a lot of, uh, like, settings and uh, just stuff that people or players set for their controls. So, I didn't notice any of that this time. As far as I know, my controls still feel just the same, okay? And, um... I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be the same across the board for everyone, but if you guys happen to 
start up your games and you notice that your controls are feeling a little different, uh, be sure to go ahead and check your settings again because um, just as I usually say, I play on Xbox Series X and you know sometimes bugs vary between Xbox, between um, PlayStation, between PC. So if you guys experience any other bugs and stuff, feel free to let me know or just put it down in the comment section so that way everyone else can know. But for sure, this time around for the Xbox, I didn't notice any sort of um, any bugs or just bugs in terms of things getting reset in terms of settings. I know, pretty boring. Just, <laughs> just want to go ahead and say that. And then also really quickly, uh, yesterday on no either sunday or monday i was making a video reacting to uh the new bmx content and the trailer right so i'm not sure if i threw that in before this or after this part of the video so this is just being recorded after the fact right uh because i was kind of thrown off that ub already kind of updated <laughs> the game in some way shape or form so you know i still want to keep that in because that was still my initial reaction right so right now uh i pretty much had a good idea of what to talk about already and just how to approach this quicker video today a little bit of editing in terms of this section or this segment rather and by the way uh i am playing this live right now in real time so i'm just kind of wandering around checking out the place and also, as you guys probably saw already, so now you get points when you do nose manis. Nose manis earn you some points now. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that you can disable this because as you guys know, as you guys know, I love me some mass races. Like I am now officially a mass racer head. I love mass races. And sometimes just, you know, by nature from the way that I play, uh, I don't like that I incidentally do nose manuals when, you know, I'm trying to accelerate, right? So hopefully there's a setting to disable that, if not already. I don't think so, though. But I would really appreciate if you can disable nose manis. But anyway, you get points for that now. And something that I'm also a little interested to see is if you can uh, get points for buttering. Buttering for snowboarding for the skis and man i love this bmx like hold on i just want to say i'm glad that bmx <laughs> yo bmx is here boys this is pretty sick and i want to check out this ufo i'm gonna guess that it's a teleporter let's go see let's go see this but uh, yeah you know this video wasn't gonna be too long there are also yep it's a teleporter very very sick i love the area 52 like alien invasion theme that they have going here you know whether they use my idea or not yubi i have no clue but <laughs> pretty excited about that oh let's hit this oh the transfers <laughs> i gotta practice that oh man this is pretty cool though uh i think this was for sure worth the wait i mean just by playing in free ride free roam this is one worth the wait and two worth the money i'm not sure though how much this is going to be individually in terms of the sport right and then uh this guy baba kush baba kush boba kush sitting here got a balloon already let's go they added 15 more balloons and i believe and i believe that they're all gonna be here around um this area i would imagine right so just as i was saying i'm not exactly sure right um how much it's going to be to purchase the BMX Sport, but just in case you guys happen to be new, how it usually works in Riders Republic is that you have to go to the store, right? Or the shop, rather. So you usually go to the shop and you purchase Republic coins, and then with the coins, you then go and purchase some items in the shop or using bucks, which is the in-game currency. But as it pertains to this stuff, I know that I pretty much have everything unlocked here because I have the season pass. But this stuff you can buy individually if you do not have the year one pass. And if you own it, obviously it says at the bottom, one BMX career and some legendary outfits, which I don't believe I have yet because, again, the season has not officially dropped. But just as I said already, you purchase the Republic coins, however many it would uh, require you 
to unlock this and then you purchase it here and you do not need any of this stuff if you don't want it. So don't fret. You can totally disregard the year one pass and just wait for this to come out if you would like to. But anyway, let's just continue checking out the spot. Oh wait, as a matter of fact, actually, I forgot to show this to you guys. So the wheel, look at the wheel. They add a BMX, obviously. Man, this thing is looking crazy, right? And uh, it says test or buy, so let's see what this is. Oh, okay, so this just, that just sends you automatically to uh, the store. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And then for the gear, so they have park BMX bikes and they have dirt ones, which is very interesting. And then how you unlock more bikes is by playing through the BMX career. So playing through all of the events, rank ranking up your stuff. And of course, I forgot to mention this or rather show this to you guys. So in terms of the sponsors, uh, they are, they look to be unlockable or be available to unlock right now. So it just says at the bottom in bold black letters, complete X thing, right? Uh, it just says for this one, for fly bikes complete, they are here. This one says complete Red Bull uncontained. This one says complete the BMX career introduction to, to unlock the sponsor. And this one, complete Vans Waffle Cup. So pretty much just kind of play through the BMX career, which I will be doing at a later time. I just kind of wanted to go through some of the stuff with you guys today, have you guys check out maybe even some of the gear that's in here. So this is pretty cool. I think I was more interested in like the Vans gear. Ooh, Vans, you'll love to be sponsored by Vans, am I right? So uh, just as I said, this stuff looks like you have to pay or rather buy purchase the BMX Sport, which, I mean, just as I said, take it as you may, I think it's fair, I mean, this is brand new content, because if you think about it, this is pretty much like DLC, just like back in the day, right, so, you know, not every single update is going to be free with games, and to be fair, guys, I mean, Ubisoft, they provided a lot of free updates for this game, so, for what BMX is, I really don't mind, you know, having to purchase more of the downloadable content but that's just that's just for me personally right i mean people will have a uh different perspective on it of course and then i get it a lot of people just want free stuff these days but as as it pertains to your boy i mean ub gave us a lot of free stuff so i cannot complain that pretty much every other sponsor here was free all of this stuff was free right Everything here is free. Even the Red Bull one was completely free since day one. So for another four sponsors here, I cannot complain about having to purchase these. And I think there are supposed to be We The People and another one. And I don't know how to unlock those. Maybe we will find out come tomorrow, the day of release, right? But let's go ahead and check out a little bit of this dirt one. Because I think that there will be some, some dirt BMX events. Oh, God. <laughs> and as of right now, I don't really feel much of a difference with the dirt bicycle. But then again, you know, I'm using the more, the more common, or rather the common um, bikes right now. So I don't have any elite ones unlocked, of course. But of course, I'm going to be grinding for those because, as you guys know, I am a sweat. Your boy loves to sweat in some Riders Republic. And I think there should be some, like, dirt features somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. But at some point, though, uh, we will check out every single spot in the world. Because uh, also, UB did add some new spots. Not just in this area, but also just, I think, in Mammoth and Yosemite. Ooh, this place is looking nice. This is, this is just nice. I'm loving this. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I'm liking this. Oh my god, perfect landing. This is very good, dude. Like, I mean, I was I was very excited when I saw this in the trailer because I was thinking, dude, we kind of need some more indoors feeling type of areas, right? So I'm very glad to see that UB delivered. And I think, oh, I see a balloon up there, right? And I think you can hit that up there, right? Maybe if you fly up there or something, I kind of just want to ride around for like another couple minutes here because I do have to quickly get this on to the 
The editing software. Yo, let's go. Look at this. Wow, you can start all the way up here as well. But yeah, man. Uh, definitely consider... <laughs> consider not falling. Definitely consider picking up BMX or just Riders Republic. I mean, if you guys have been holding out on, on Riders Republic for this long, I mean, good night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, I do get it, right? You know, some people were like, I don't want to play Riders Republic until we get BMX. So, hey, BMX is here, and if you guys have been missing out on this game for the past 10 months, I mean, good lord, you guys have missed out on a lot, I think. So, for sure, pick pick up the game now. So, don't, don't be waiting around. I think even right now, uh, Riders Republic is still on sale. I mean, if not online, then maybe check your local, your local stores to see if uh, Riders Republic is still on sale, because at least at my local targets or whatever, uh, the game is on sale. Oh, I almost landed that. The game is on sale for, I think it's like 23 bucks right now. So it's like, yo, if you can just pick up the game on sale and buy BMX separately, it might be dang near 40 bucks. So that's, that's kind of a good deal. You, you get a game for almost half off, I think a little more than half off, and you can pick up the, uh, the new BMX um, update for what I'm, I'm guessing maybe ten, fifteen dollars, if even that. So definitely, definitely consider all that stuff, guys. And I think I will have to cut it short right here, mainly because uh, just as I said, the the full update is not completely here. So once the full thing drops, I'm gonna go through a lot of the new cosmetics that they have in the store. Maybe we'll even check out some of the new um, Weekly Shack Daddies if they have anything that pertains to BMX. But just as I said, the sport is here. We're just kind of waiting for the other little goodies to show up. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, my God. <laughs> that was crazy. But, guys, that is going to have to do for this one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the little bit of gameplay. Oh, wait. Is this a dirt feature? Yo, look at this dirt feature right here. Hold on. Let me let me kind of change up this lighting a little bit here. All right, here we go. It's looking a little more bright now. But yeah, man, just as I said, BMX is almost officially here. We are just about there, but I think everyone was kind of waiting for the sport, right? So the sport is here. Super excited. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was kind of like, okay, maybe reaction first. And oh, and then by the way, I just want to say this. So I'm just really glad that, you know, whether whether Ubisoft saw my video last March or not, I was talking about how they should really have some kind of like alien and like alien invasion theme for something in the game. So I'm very glad that, you know, they're using these assets like this asset uh, for this um, UFO and the what these uh, unicorns. These were in, I think, Yosemite. So these are very far away in Yosemite. So very glad that they are still using those same assets and really going hard on that theme. I just love to see it. But guys, that is going to have to do for this one. So just as I said, not exactly sure if I showed my reaction first or the gameplay first. I have yet to decide. But guys, if you can please like, subscribe, comment, and enjoy the content, that would be absolutely stupendously fantastic. And um, just as I said, hey, stay tuned for some more gameplays. I mean, I had, I had literally just 100%ed this game and now I got to 100% it again. So, and uh, guys, feel free to let me know what you think. And today is actually Monday. So this video isn't going to come out until Tuesday, which is today for you guys. So tomorrow now is when BMX will be coming out. And I'll see if I can get a video up. I just don't like to rush stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if I do make something, it's going to be without a face cam. Because no face cam is just a lot quicker, but... For sure, like and subscribe and stay tuned, and we will be diving into all of the BMX stuff, bro. I am super excited, guys. Guys, as usual, I will see you in the next one, and cue the outro.